Hi guys, welcome back in the second part of this video. I'm sorry because the video glitched, so I had to make a second part of it. So yeah, I stopped at the last half of the song, which is gonna be the easiest part, hopefully. So yeah, I stopped at this point. So yeah, as I told you, it's a um, B, G sharp, E, C sharp, alright? And you do the exact same pattern two frets below. So let's just say you start with an A. So it goes like A, oh, sorry, A, F sharp, E, D, B, alright? And then, alright, you just remove the D from the pattern on the second time you play it, alright? So yeah. And then you add this jazzy note here because it quite sounds like this in the original version. I couldn't find the exact same note, but still it quite sounds accurate. So yeah. It's an E and A uh, no, a G sharp and a D. Alright so Seven fret on the D string uh, on the A string for the E. <coughs> Sixth fret on the D string for the G sharp, and then D um, six seventh fret on the G string for the D. All right. So the overall stuff goes like this. All right, and now slowly. Then we come to the end of this part, so it goes like A, hammer on or slide, whatever you please, like you can do it both, like or from the A to the B, fifth string, uh, E string, fifth fret to the seventh fret. Then you go on the <clears throat> on the D on the C sharp, sorry, on the A string. 4th fret, you do slide to the D, to the D on the 5th fret of the A string as well, so... And then another slide from the E, from the um, D note, to the 9th fret, so that is to say a F sharp, right? So. Then you add an A, alright? So it's, yeah, A, B, C sharp, D, F sharp, A. Alright, so one more time, slowly. So yeah, the overall stuff goes like this, this part. Alright, so now we're almost done and we're gonna start the, uh, the last, very last part of the song. Alright, it's probably the easiest one, so yeah. It starts with an A and it's chromatic. Chromatic from the A to the B on the E string, 5th fifth string, 5th fifth fret to the 7th fret, right? So it goes like And that pr that's pretty much everything. So yeah, it goes from the 5th fret to the 7th fret on the E string from A A sharp uh, A yeah, A A sharp B. B. And then you go back from the B to the A. A, and then you go with an, a hammer on on the A to the B. So uh, A hammer on B. All right. And then you do the exact same thing. And you 
just with your little finger add this extra note that is to say an F sharp and you go back with your index on the fifth fret of the D of the A string for the E for the D sorry so let's go like and then B and A and B all right so it goes like this and then you do the exact same thing one tone below starting from the B chromatic as well but this time you do only one chromatic um, how would you say yeah you just like um, you don't go from the uh, from the um, from the D, from the C sharp to the B, you just go from the D, from the C to the C sharp, right? So it goes like, right? You don't go, no, it's like B, D, B, C, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, all right? And then you go, same here, exactly. You add this extra note with your little finger. <laughs> that is to say a um, G sharp, all right? And then you add an E, an e C sharp, B, C sharp, alright? So it goes like this. And then once you reached this C sharp, you just go one note below on the A string on 6th fret. And it's um, an E flat, all right? So E flat B, all right? And then you have the the whole every notes of the song, all right? So it goes like this. That's pretty much everything guys. So I hope it's not been too confusing for you guys. I'm really sorry for the explanations which are really really messy. But I hope it will help. I hope you will use it and uh, if maybe you have any questions don't mind asking. I'll be there to answer your questions or to remake another video if it's not clear enough. Alright.